Hey everybody, it's Lee with Gnome and Backyard. And for today's craft, you're gonna need yourself one of these good old plungers from the Dollar Tree and some nautical rope. So what I wanna do with this simple everyday plunger is make myself a really cute witch's broom for the holiday season. Now, you can go about this two ways. You can make a fall broom or you can make a witch's broom. And I'm gonna try and show you both options in this video. So the first thing you need to do is take your plunger or your broom, grab yourself a good old hammer, and just put a few dents in the handle of the plunger so that it looks a little worn, um, it looks a little bit older. Now you could either hit your broom handle head on, face down, or you could tap it at an angle. I would take and I would do both. And just keep turning it around and give yourself some of those good old fashioned dents in a broom that's been around a while. Okay, after that, what we're gonna do is we are going to take our nautical rope. And the first thing we're going to do is just unbraid. You see this nautical rope comes in three sections. We are just going to unbraid a small section of it. We're gonna use this as the base around the bottom of our broom. So we're just gonna untwirl a small section of it. We're gonna cut it off, but we are gonna leave this um, together up here because this is how we're gonna hot glue it onto our pole. So we're just gonna take a very generous amount of hot glue. And probably about three inches up the bottom of the plunger, that is where we're gonna start our first layer of our broom. So you can see what we did here. Don't worry if there's gonna be some spaces in between, that's okay because we're going to put a second layer. So I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing. I'm going to keep cutting my rope, untwirling the bottom, leaving about an inch at the top so that it does not fall apart on me, and then adding my hot glue. So right here, you can get a good idea of what we're gonna do all the way around the plunger. Okay, so we went around our plunger handle one entire time. Now we're going to unfurl all of this rope. Unfurl, untwirl, you say tomato, I say tomato. Okay, so now this is our bottom layer to basically cover up the plunger underneath, which actually is making our broom stand straight up. Now, our little guy here does need a haircut, I see. Uh, I must have miscalculated a little bit with the, with the length, but you know what? It's always better to be too long than too short with these strands. So I'm gonna go back and just give him a little haircut. Okay, our little broom got his first haircut. And now we're going to take our nautical rope and do the same thing again, starting up about an inch and a half on top of our first layer. That's where we're gonna put our second layer.
And again, these cuts do not have to be exact. So starting my second layer about an inch and a half to two inches above my first layer. Okay, so now we're done with our second layer all the way around. So this is where your decision comes in. You can actually leave this top layer with the um, rope thicker like this. You can, you can leave it thicker and that really gives it a cute little spooky effect. Or you can untwirl, unwirl um, your second layer of rope and then it would be thinner and look like this. So that's up to you to decide. I think we are going to leave ours just like this with the thicker, thicker uh, rope pieces showing on the top. I am gonna give it a little bit of a haircut one more time. Okay, now here's your second decision to make. Do you want this to be a spooky witch's broom? If you do, then just paint your handle black Take a really fun ribbon, like maybe this one from the Dollar Tree. These spiders and cobwebs are just so cute. And you can make yourself a nice, big, spooky bow for this. Or if you want to leave it fall, so you can leave it up through Thanksgiving, what you might want to do is take some home decor wax and stain your handle, which is what I'm going to do right now. Because then, if my family doesn't like it for fall, I can actually just paint over on my handle black and turn it into a spooky witch's broom. But we're going to go with the fall broom first. So I'm just taking a sponge and I am just going to rub it all over my plunger handle. And as you can see, if you do it this way with the uh, home decor wax, you're going to see those dents that we put in it, which is pretty cool and you can make your handle as light or as dark as you would like. But like I said, after I show this to the family, if they don't like it for fall and they say, we really want it for Halloween, I'm just gonna put some black paint right over this and switch out my bows. So you can actually get two seasons out of this. If you wanna use it this year as a fall broom, then you would do it up this way with the home decor wax. But next year, if you want to bring it out and turn it into a fun Halloween witch's broom, then just change the paint color and the bow. Now, let me show you up close. Can you see those marks, those dents that we put in it? How right along here, you see all the dents that we put in it and it really looks like a cute, worn broom handle. So you would let your wax dry. You can then choose to wipe it off a little bit once it dries, uh, if you want a little bit of a lighter shade, but we're gonna go with this shade. Okay, so now we have our broom handle stained. We're going to take our nautical rope one more time, and you will end up needing about one and a half packs of this natural rope jute from the Dollar Tree. We are going to unfurl it, one more time and we are going to use just one thinner strand of it to wrap around the top section of our broom to finish it off. So I'm just gonna start on the back and I am just going to take and hot glue it and wrap it on here just so that the top of our broom has a bit of a finished off look. I'm pulling it just a little bit tighter around here. Okay, you guys, here you have it. Now we just took our thinner piece of rope and we just wrapped it around the top 
of our broom twice and secured it with the hot glue. And we did leave a little bit of the broom bristles sticking out up top because that's what makes it this really cute, rustic looking piece of home decor. Now, uh, we are going to just take some fall ribbon and I am going to attach it probably right about here to my broom. I'm not hot gluing it on though. I am attaching it with a piece of twine because like I said, I want the family to decide do they want to keep this as some fall home decor or would they prefer we switch it up with painting the handle black and adding some spooky ribbon like our cute uh, spider and cobweb ribbon and make it an actual witch's broom for the holiday season. Well, here you have it, guys. I really do hope you all get the chance to craft up one of these cute brooms, whether it be for the fall season or for the Halloween season. They really look cute as a shelf sitter on your mantle, next to your pumpkins on your porch. It really is a sweet piece of fall holiday home decor. Thank you so very much for continuing to sprinkle all of Gnome and Backyard's videos, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.